Hey guys, it's Janiqua and I'm back with another video. Have you ever found yourself saying, don't check for people who ain't checking for you or I'm not checking for nobody who not checking for me? Listen, let me help y'all out here, okay? That is a lie from the pit of hell. You very well should be checking for people who ain't checking for you. Let me tell you why. Because sometimes it's those very people who actually need the checking in on the very fact that they came across your mind in the first place it could be that god is telling you to number one pray for them or number two check in with them we especially in the black community have to stop this entitlement feeling like you know people owe us something the bible says oh no man nothing but to love one another so let's stop being bitter and petty in 2024 okay you are are the one who owes it to yourself to be something and to do something different with your life than your parents did with theirs or even their parents right your grandparents and so on why because a lot of this stuff is generational a lot of this mindset that we have is generational is passed down from generation to generation you don't have to respond how your parents would have responded in certain situations especially and more specifically if they were not in the will of God when they were raising you. Okay, let's stop turning a blind eye to those who call you their family or their friend just because you feel like they're not checking for you enough, right? Everybody has things going on in their own personal life. You are in their world, but you are not their world. I'm going to say that again. You are part of their world, but you are not their whole world. So we have to learn how to extend grace to people. Why? Because God extends grace to us. Think about it. When was the last time that you checked for God? Hmm? When was the last time you opened up the word? When was the last time you prayed that wasn't just asking him for something? When was the last time that you just thanked him? Number one, he woke you up this morning. It's his breath that is inside of your lungs. The Bible says that God made man in his image. He breathed life into him and man became a living thing. I really believe that when we start to see just how much God puts up with us and our own mess when we don't deserve it, we can be a bit more forgiven to those we claim to love, right? So keep reaching out and praying for your family, your friends, um, as God keeps putting them on your heart. Let 2024 be the year that we truly love one another. This life is short. It is fleeting. It is but a vapor. We are here today. We are gone tomorrow. We don't have time to be bitter. We don't have time to be holding grudges and resentment towards family and loved ones and our friends, right? Come on, we got to do better. 2024 is the year. Amen. If you received anything from this video, go ahead and type amen in the chat section. Follow me on all social media accounts at Janiqua Kelly. Share this video with someone who you know needs to hear this message. Because remember, you're going higher, so it's only right that you bring them with you. When one win, we all should be winning. Amen. Be blessed in Jesus' name.